We're up here specifically to help the local law enforcement with um, any checkpoints that they need help with. The generators offer um, the solar power or power for our commanders and our higher up, our command team, to be able to communicate, charge the radios, have communication between all of the checkpoints that are miles and miles apart, and for us to just get the job done. We know that there's been plenty of struggle and there's been plenty of people that need the support and we are doing the best that we can and we're trying to get as much done as possible to help contain these fires. Uh, it's difficult to be able to see that everything that they've lost, um, just to put ourselves in, that, in those positions, in their shoes, to be empathetic in their situation. And as first responders, we want to do the best that we can to help them get through these tough times. I'm up here in Taylorsville for the Dixie Fire, um, doing traffic control points and making sure that looters don't get in. Well, I've been on two activations now. Um, this one is the one that I've like really done like more stuff. Well, I'm supposed to be moving up here, so it's actually kind of nice to like get a feel of how the community is and everything. So I feel like I'll be really welcomed up here, especially since I mean. They all mostly know that I'm here with the National Guard, so they'll probably be really thankful that, you know, I'm serving the community as well. So day to day, we're just running TCPs, which is checkpoint, just like here. I've never seen anything like this, like when we drive through Greensville and everything's like burnt down. It's very sad to see. Um, but I do recognize something similar from Paradise Fires. I had an uncle that lived up there. So we went up there to donate blankets and food. So it's very similar to that. But you feel good helping out the locals, letting them know that you know their houses are safe or their belongings. If it didn't burn down, there's no looters that come by. And just helping out the sheriffs. And they're always like thankful, like thank you for helping us out. Just pretty, feels good, you know, to hear that from them.